fall is here. Well, fall gets here September 22nd, but I'm declaring it's fall. <laughs> Well, whether it's feeling like fall where you are or not, it is September and I think it's fair to start talking about the jeans we'll need for this fall and the shoes we're going to need to wear with them. My name is Kay and welcome to Dress For My Day where every Wednesday I show up here and I hope you do too so that I can help you to get dressed for your day beautifully and in a modern way that reflects your personal style and helps you to interact with those around you with confidence and with grace. And that's what we want to do. So I'm just so glad that you're here and we're gonna talk jeans for this fall and the footwear that we'll need to wear with them. Now, not too long ago, I actually have a blog post at my blog, at my website, about the footwear that we need for fall. And I named the different types that I think are so important. Let's see if I can remember them. They are mules and slides, also loafers or other flats. You could also include some clogs if you want to. We definitely want some sneakers, some fashion sneakers, not what you do your workouts in, but something that you can wear out in the street. And then eventually, of course, we're gonna want some booties as it starts getting a little bit cooler. But let's talk denim first, because there are some new silhouettes in town, ladies. Now, if you wanna still wear your skinny jeans, you absolutely can do that. They will not look as fashion forward as the other silhouettes, but you can still wear them, especially if you feel confident in those jeans, if you feel like they really resonate with your personal style aesthetic, if you feel like they look good on your body shape and your proportions, then go ahead and wear those skinny jeans. But if you wanna look modern, and let me tell you something about looking modern, that's our goal. Because as women over 50, sometimes we mistakenly think our goal is to try to look younger. But when we try to look younger, we end up looking clownish and foolish. When we try to look modern, we actually look a little younger. So ladies, one of the best ways that you can actually look a little bit younger is by wearing modern jean silhouettes. What's modern? What's really trending? Well, today I'm gonna to be sharing some ankle length jeans and some full length jeans because ankle length is really trending. Yes, you absolutely can show your ankle with your jeans and the fall time is the best time, besides spring probably, to wear those ankle length jeans, show a little bit of ankle. It looks seasonal, it looks fresh, it looks beautiful. It's just a great way to look feminine in your jeans and to look very on trend. So ankle length is really trending. Another thing that's really trending in jeans right now is a fuller leg. Now they're in, in all kinds of ways from really those wide leg jeans to just a straight leg jean with a little bit of room in there in the leg to a straighter silhouette with a little bit of a dimmy boot or a little bit little witty, little teeny weeny weeny bitty. <laughs> boot cut or boot flare at the hem length, hem of the jean. So just that dimmy boot or that whole boot flare wide leg jean thing is going on too. And I'm really seeing those a lot in the fuller length. So that's really nice. Now, perhaps the most classic jean silhouette of all is just the straight leg full length jean. And that is so classic. They never got a style and Perhaps that is the silhouette that looks best universally on every woman. So you can't go wrong with that. Unfortunately, I'm not showing any of those today, not the straight leg. I'm not showing any of the straight leg full length because I tend to kind of save those for the winter. So maybe we'll talk about those again in the winter. I think in the fall, I like to show a little ankle, but also this fall, I'm gonna be wearing these longer length, full length, wide leg, flare leg jeans. So we're gonna talk about those. I'm gonna be showing you some jeans and some different washes also because this year, washes are all over the place. You can wear dark wash jeans that will make you look really elevated, a little bit classy, maybe a little dressier. Medium wash is just so smart to have in your closet because a medium wash jean is gonna go with everything, especially if you're traveling, maybe you're trying to work with a capsule wardrobe, a medium wash jean is ideal. At the same time though, light wash jeans are what's really trending and you can never go wrong with having some black jeans in your closet. You can go from 
pure black, no fade black, all the way to that kind of a washed black look, is, which is kind of what I prefer a little bit because I lead a pretty casual lifestyle. And what I'm really loving this year are gray jeans. I bought two pair of gray jeans myself and you'll be seeing both of them today. Now the jeans I'm showing you are straight from my closet so I make no bones about it. Yes, they are premium denim. I have come to love premium denim jeans. I'd rather have two or three or four just really great pairs of jeans in my closet that are American made, that are made with fair labor and with you know good, good resourcing and all that sort of stuff than to have jeans that feel cheap, they don't feel good, they, they, don't, they don't fit me right. One of the things you're paying for also in premium denim is the research. These brands like Mother and Frame and Page and AG and Fidelity, they have done the research, they know how to make jeans that fit a woman's body and they do. These are the brands that time after time after time I'm seeing reviews, women saying, I can wear these, I love these jeans. So if you're in the market, if you have it in the budget to try a pair of premium jeans, I can highly recommend the one I'm ones I'm showing you today. They are from uh, Paige and Mother and Fidelity. I also have some frame jeans in my closet that I absolutely love. Let's get on though with matching jeans and the different silhouettes and links with the shoes in your closet. Before we do that though, I know, I know, hold on Kate, why aren't you going? All right, because you want to know that your, your shoes need to accomplish something for you. Your shoes are one of your primary accessories. They're the accessory that you have to wear, right? <laughs> to get into a restaurant, <laughs> you have to wear shoes. So when you're wearing your shoes, they're not just to get you from point A to point B, they're not just something to cover your feet and keep you safe. They need to accomplish something for your outfit. And here are four things that your shoes can, they should accomplish at least one of these four things every time you put them on your feet. Your shoes could elongate your legs. So if you wear shoes in the same color or at least the same intensity as your jeans or your pants, or you wear a nude colored shoe, those are going to elongate your leg. That, that, those, those shoes that are in the same intensity of your, as your jeans or your pants are really gonna do the best job. The nude color shoe is probably my second choice when it comes to wearing them with pants or jeans. So that is one thing that your shoe can do is that can elongate your leg, create that nice long uninterrupted line there. The second thing your shoes could accomplish though is they could bookend your look and therefore tying it together. So when you wear the same color on your footwear as you do somewhere up top in your outfit, whether it is your shirt, your top, or your jacket, or even a hat or scarf, then you are bookending that look. And what that does is it makes it just look all wrapped up with a bow, all pulled together, and it makes it look like you put a little thought and intention into your outfit, not too much, just the right amount, so you come off looking really chic and pulled together. The third thing that your shoes could do is they could add some interest. Anytime you wear a shoe with a color, or maybe an animal print or a plaid or some texture to them or some great hardware on them or it's just a really cool silhouette or maybe it's a patent leather shoe. Any of those shoes are gonna add some interest to your outfit and they can really make you look great. Now remember, you don't wanna add interest all over your outfit. So especially when you are wearing something that's kind of paired back, like a simple cashmere sweater and a simple pair of black trousers or a simple pair of jeans, wearing that statement shoe that adds some interest is really smart. And the fourth thing that your shoes could do is they can set the tone for your outfit. So they can either elevate your outfit or they they can kind of tone it down. So they elevate your outfit when, once again, they have some great hardware, or maybe you have a heel or a pointy toe or that patent leather. You know, any of those sorts of things are gonna absolutely elevate your outfit a notch or two, make you just look oh so classy and chic, a little dressed up. On the other hand, if you're wearing something a little dressy, like a pair of trousers and a nice cashmere sweater, but you end up your outfit with just a great pair of sneakers, that's going to tone your outfit down. So your shoes can really set the atmosphere for your outfit. Now, you want your shoes to do one of those four things. So as we are looking at these combinations of jeans and shoes, 
keep that in mind. Now, in all of these outfits I'm gonna be showing you, I really focused on the jeans and the shoe pairings, not so much everything else. I did accessorize them, I got on some jewelry, and I every once in a while I put on a jacket or something, but really keep your eyes on the jeans and the shoes. Let's get started. First, we're looking at a pair of uh, ankle length jeans. I believe the inseam is 28 inches. It hits me right a little bit above the ankle bone. Now, here you can see me wearing them with several different types of shoes. So many things work with these ankle length jeans. You can absolutely wear mules. A mule is a closed toed shoe that you just slide your foot into. So it's closed toe, but it's open in the heel. Another thing you can wear is a slide. These slides have a heel. You can wear slides that don't have a heel with them, but I love this little bit of a heel on this Vince Camuto caramel colored slide. I think this is so great with all of these jeans. This is just a great shoe to have in your closet for the fall. It also comes in black. These mules that I've been showing you, a couple of them, they're, they're not pricey. These are really nicely priced mules. I think a nice sandy suede is such a smart choice because it does accomplish something. I think that's a great shoe to have in your closet for this fall. Of course, you can also wear loafers with these. Here I'm wearing my Lug Soul black leather uh, loafers. They're patent leather is what I was trying to say. <laughs> so lug soles are really in and I love a lug sole. You can find them really chunky or like these pretty much are, or you can find them a little bit, you know, more narrow. But also if you just want to wear a traditional loafer, you would still be very on trend. So just a traditional black or brown loafer would be great here too. Now, obviously you can wear your sneakers with these ankle length jeans. I think they're really smart. I really like the white leather sneakers. You also, of course, could wear some slip-on sneakers, maybe in a, a tan or a beige color would be great. Now, of course, you can wear some heels. You can wear a clog with them. You could wear a heeled mule, as I've done here. You can also, of course, wear a pump with these if you're wanting to dress things up. So you could do that and you can wear a booty. Now, here's what happens with these booties though. With an ankle length jean, you're gonna want a booty that has a narrow shaft that will fit up into the, the leg of the jean. Now, my sandy uh, suede booties don't really do that great. They kind of meet right where the jean meets. And so that's not ideal, that's not, if you gotta wear them, it's okay. <laughs> but it's just not ideal, you know what I'm saying? So what is ideal are these leather uh, brown booties because they have that narrow shaft and it's a taller shaft so they really fit up in the length uh, in the leg of that jean and they look really nice. They really do kind of elongate too because you got that nice chic brown booty there underneath those jeans. So that's a great option with these ankle length jeans. Now I'm showing you my gray ankle length jeans and they are just like a half an inch longer, not much, but just a little bit. And of course being gray, they kind of create a different look too. And sometimes it's the way I top things that makes your footwear actually work or not work. So those are things to keep in mind as you play around with the footwear in your closet and your jeans is sometimes it's changing out a, a, a top or a jacket or adding a belt or taking away a belt can really make a difference in how the footwear looks with your jeans. You can see me here wearing basically all those same sorts of things. You can wear mules. Uh, if you're wondering like what color of, of shoes to wear with gray jeans, I love these sandy colored mules with my gray jeans. I think sandy or a kind of a beige and gray go together so nicely. So do camel as I'm wearing the camel slides here. Camel and gray work together really nicely. And of course black does too, but black is kind of, you know, it's dark and then the gray is light. So that's a high contrast and intensity. So if you book in that by wearing a black belt or a black jacket or something, then it really does work. So those are just some th things to keep in mind though as you're pairing your shoes with your jeans. Now here I'm showing them with my retro sneakers. They're just really fun, really on trend, and these are really comfortable shoes. So they're a great choice to wear when you're going out somewhere for the day, you're 
going to do a lot of walking because they are so comfortable and they are on trend. I know they may look funny to you because you wore them in the 70s or whenever, but I promise you these are very trendy and some young thing is going to stop you in the parking lot of the grocery store and tell you how great you look in them because it happened to me. So you, you get you some of those and you're going to enjoy wearing them. So you're seeing once again that really the sky's the limit. You can wear so many options with those. Now I did not put my clogs with those or those brown mules because I don't really think that those would work great but you're seeing that I've got plenty of options with those gray ankle length jeans. Now let's move on to my page full length. There's a flare leg jean. Once again these have a chewed raw hem so I don't want to hem them so I don't want to mess that hem line up. That's I paid for that. <laughs> I know that's art. Now some of you may not think so, but that's that's art that I paid for. So we want to keep that hemline. So they're a little bit long on me. So I'm going to need at 5'8, I think those have a 31 inch inseam. At 5'8, I am going to need about an inch to two of a heel. So in no matter what I wear. So that does maybe limit my options a little bit, but not too much because my sneakers, my leather, uh, white leather sneakers here are actually a platform sneaker. So what that does is it gives me an inch without you even being able to tell that I've got an inch, about an inch of height there. And you can find platform sneakers that have a really taller platform even than this. So if you need a sneaker and you want to wear it with jeans that are kind of long, then I suggest you have a platform sneaker in your wardrobe. Now these, my jeans are kind of long with this white sneaker, but it's okay. It's okay. It's perfectly fine to have a little bit of a puddle. Puddling is actually in. We're going to leave that probably most of us to the twenties and the teens. <laughs> and we don't necessarily want our jeans to puddle, but it, it's in if you want to do that. In fact, him links are all over the place. There was a time when I first started blogging about four years ago, I remember it was like almost a rule that your, your long pants, especially your trouser kind of pants, your flare leg jeans, whatever, should not be more than a half an inch off the floor at the most, preferably a fourth of an inch off the floor. Well, that has all gone out the window now. What I'm seeing are people wear those flare leg jeans one and two inches off the floor to puddling on the floor. What I've noticed, ladies, when it comes to lengths, the ankle length jeans, the longer jeans, the puddling jeans, is that I believe our culture is at a point where we want convenience. And especially the younger generations, they're not going to hem something. They've never hemmed a thing in their life. <laughs> they don't know how to hem and it doesn't occur to them to take something to a tailor to have it done. So they just are going to wear the links, whatever they are. So what that has, what's happened then as a result of that is it's very on trend to wear things from cropped length to puddling on the floor. You can wear them any length you want to. And I promise you, I promise you, it's going to look on trend and current. Now, I know some of us, like, we've got to adjust our thinking and adjust the way we see things because we think that if things are ankle length, then that's like, I think you call them high waders or whatever. You just get that out of your head. That's that's long time ago. That's back in the old days. <laughs> in these days, that's very current for your jeans, for your pants to hit really anywhere, anywhere you want them to hit. Now, ideally though, remember what I said earlier about your shoes should accomplish something. So if you're trying to accomplish that long uninterrupted line so that your legs look longer and you look taller, then you're not going to want your jeans to be real like one or two inches off the floor. You either want them to be ankle length, like that's what you meant them to be, or you do want them to be closer to the floor, like an inch off the floor or so. So that's why I like these jeans on me at this length. They work with my platform sneakers. They work with my booties. They work with a low heel. They work with that heeled slide. I've shown those those with them and they work with that mule. I love these blue flare leg jeans with these brown mules. So it's almost like these were the jeans that these shoes were made to go with and I think they work really nicely. So if you are wearing a jean like this that's a little long on you, you need a heel, I'll highly, highly recommend a good mule. And of course a mule's sister shoe <laughs> would be a clog, which is really what's really modern and really on trend. I think a mule it's a little bit more sophisticated. 
the clog is going to look a little bit more youthful, a little bit more current, but that mule, you're not going to go wrong with it. It looks very elevated, very ladylike, very sophisticated, very of our age even, I would say. Now, my gray jeans are a little bit longer even, and I can still wear them though with those white sneakers. I can wear them with my booties as you've seen here, and I can wear them with my lug sole loafers. So once again, I still just got so many great options to wear those with. So that's what I want you to understand is you really have lots of options, lots of you know leeway as far as where your jeans need to hit, you know, as far as distance from the floor. I think you just wanna keep those four things in mind more than anything, those four goals that your footwear should help you to achieve. And you have to go back and play it again if you want to remember what they are because I don't have time to do that. I don't have time to repeat them. But remember that your shoes absolutely should accomplish something for you. Now in today's video, I didn't show any of the really wide leg jeans, but remember I shared a video about that, I don't know, about five or six videos ago about how to wear wide leg jeans and trousers this fall. So be sure to check that video out if you haven't already. I'll link it in the description box below too because there I do share the shoes that you would want to wear with your wide leg jeans. And also I want you to know that if you don't wear a lot of jeans, all of these tips and things that I've told you, they translate to trousers too, because most of the trousers, like the dress trousers that I am seeing right now, follow the same silhouettes as these jeans do. We're seeing straight leg trousers, wide leg trousers, and then like a demi boot or a flare leg trouser. So you can transfer any of these tips that I'm giving you for jeans to those trousers also. If you have benefited from this video today, if it's helped you at all to know what jeans to wear and what shoes to wear with them, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up on your way out, but more importantly even, I hope you'll share this with one of your girlfriends, your sister, your mother, your daughter, whoever, because if it helps you, it absolutely will help them also. We all need to help each other out as to what jeans to wear and what shoes to wear with them. You can share this video with them through sending them a link through a text or an email, or you can, of course, share it on Facebook or Pinterest. And thank you so much for doing that. It's been a pure joy serving you, and I hope you have a great day. Bye now.